So one of the questions I've had before is the ability to change uh, the background colors of, of cells. So um, at uh, this current release of K2, um, which is the one I'm using here, is uh, 4.6.11. Uh, uh, let's say I wanted a header and I want this entire top uh, cell to be a certain background color. I can go into it, take a label and drop that in. What I can then do is I can go and say, uh, this is my heading. Oops. Heading, something along that. Those, those lines. Now I want that to be kind of one cell with a specific color. So I can go to that specific um, um, uh, text box. We can go to the styles, and this is where I can go in and I can say, well, let's give this a background color of maybe uh, uh, let's maybe make it a, a black background. Uh, let's give it a white color to sit inside there like that. Uh, let's put that centered. Uh, let's give it a uh, let's give it a, a bold so it kind of comes across like that. And let's maybe increase its size a little bit uh, to be a little header. And if I say OK, then we can also then just go to its width, make that 100% so it fills the entire space that sits around that. And then there's obviously further details we can do here as well. For example, take going to its margins, uh, giving it none, and its padding, let's give it none so it fills that in uh, nice and fully. So if I just save that off there, and we go and run that view, this is the previous example I did there. There's a little heading with, with that stretch across, and if you look at that on a form, there's the one I just did now, so there it is uh, with the little heading across the form. And you can take that even a little bit further. Uh, what I'm going to do here, just to show you a little advanced uh, a little uh, trick that you can do, is if I go and let's say add a little um, I don't know, text box or a slider or something along those lines, let's add a slider with a minimum and a maximum value of 100. And what we're going to do that is, if, if this slider is more than uh, 50, uh, we're actually going to make that heading change. So I'm going to go to the heading over here. So if you remember this control for now is just called slider. So I'm going to go over here to the heading, and we're going to go now to conditional stylings. We can add now conditional style. So the default style is what we've already set. But we can add uh, conditional styling. I'm just going to call this, this is a high value. The condition is going to be if the slider is greater than 50, then we're going to uh, go and do something about that. So I'm going to say OK. It says, well, what are we going to do with that? So this time around, what we're going to do is I'm going to make the background color red. I'm going to make the foreground color white. Uh, we're going to give the style bold. We're going to give it an even bigger size that this is going to pop up to make it centered as well. We're going to do something along those lines. So we're going to do that. OK. So let's save that. Now let's go and run it. So if I refresh it over here, just on the view on itself, so it's all good. Notice as I go up, as soon as I go over the 50% 50, 50 mark, that's what's happened. And as I go back down again, you can see that sort of conditional styling uh, coming into play there. Let's look at that on a form as well. Here it is. And then as I go up, it's changing a little heading. So again, just giving you an idea of the sort of things that you can do uh, from that point of view. Same thing, obviously, you can have rules that, you know, you can apply that in all different ways. You can obviously change the conditional styling on, on practically anything. You can change the conditional styling on most things.